Hello everybody and welcome to the second round of the uh, Season 2 Championship, the Malaysian Grand Prix, affected by rain here and the best I could manage was 7th uh, position, I think it was a dry session first of all and then it went to wet, um, you can see some of my stats from last season, there's plenty to improve on and uh, Q1 is, is destined to be wet as well and uh, it's not quite wet enough for the uh, full wets but we uh, start battle now and with just 2 minutes 40 to go I'm down in the drop zone in a uh, rather dismal 18th but I'm really far ahead of the rest of here in sector 2 so if all goes to plan I should be well ahead coming into this final turn but who knows it's a good enough entry and exit and down the final straight I go and here we go battling to cross the line no it's I'm 4 tenths down nowhere near the target time and so we have to try again and uh, you can see I'm really going for it now. I'm three tenths of a second up on the rest, even though I'm two tenths down on my own personal time. Um, here we go now again, sector two, 1.3 seconds up. That is absolutely massive. We've got lots of traffic here. Five cars squabbling for the track position now. There's Chilton, there's one of them. And we got Kimi Raikkonen, I believe, is another car. He's stuck behind the uh, caterum. And I ha I've really lost a lot of time in that corner again. It's my least favorite on the track but we have to battle on regardless and now we find the line 143 144 no that seven hundredths of a second I've been dealt a terrible hand and again it's not to be how did I not get out of that session I'll never ever know but there you have it I can only qualify in 17th for the uh, Malaysian Grand Prix Paul de Resta gets away with it but uh, a very very heartbreaking session uh, from my point of view uh, I'll show you the comparisons of the lap times in a moment but uh, there you go um, my best was a 144.6 you can see I was very quick in sector 2 but sector 3 for whatever reason went wrong as uh, Paul de Rest was able to get 42.3s and that sort of area so here's a look at today's grid it's Alonso from Rosberg and Vettel uh, Perez and Hamilton 6th and 7th there Hulkenberg got in the top 10 Maldonado up in 13, so well done to Pastor, but I have to beat him today, I was uh, easily trumped in Australia, and uh, that has got to change, the five lights are glowing, and now they're going, it's go, 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 and it's a reasonable enough start, but down at the back you expect that, Gutierrez on my outside there, um, <clears throat> probably, I'll have to put on the pressure, but he's kind of uh, panicking, I break a little early, and then a little too late, so um, away we go um, I find the middle road um, you can see a lot of cars on the inside and outside Charles Peak there Grosjean as well so the French invasion a great getaway by Charles Peak and uh, if we look ahead we have all sorts of goings on three wide hang it it's gone car off it's a McLaren I think it's Jensen Button from memory but my goodness me a collision between Maldonado and Jensen Button has taken the McLaren pretty much uh, out of contention, he's got to pit for a new front wing. I go around the outside of jean eric Verne, which is a great move. But it was very dangerous going down to turn three there with uh, very little room for error. But unfortunately for Jensen Button, he is uh, he's down the back and he's got a long way to claw. Uh, we've Adrian Sutil now. I, I can see slow and I find an inside line. His sparkling new Force India livery. Uh, it's no match for my Martini. And I'm through to 14th, so everything's going well. Um, now we drop two gears for this uh, right hander, and we accelerate now into sector three. Um, getting this corner right is imperative. You, you can't afford to go into the gravel trap, and someone is in the gravel trap. I think it's Paul de Resta, and it is. So, Force India, we're looking good for points there, and unfortunately, the, the Scotsman has thrown it away, and Grosjean. We'll head into battle with the Sauber and the Williams up ahead of me. We've got a three battle, three car battle there in Maldonado. Oh, he's been taken on the outside. And he could be done as well by Grosjean. But he, he decides, no, I'm not having any of that. And we carry on racing. And Grosjean's lost momentum. Across the line for lap one. We begin lap two. And Grosjean is surely uh, doomed to his fate. And he is. Kimi Raikkonen, though, leads the Grand Prix after one lap. That is a very good result for Lotus. And you have to hang on in there. And now it's a teammate battle as the points are right in our reach. Maldonado has failed to score in his entire virtual career uh, with me as a teammate. But now I really want to get those points for myself. I want to get um, 
as many as possible because as I said in the last episode my objective for the first half of the season is to score on the uh, Asian Australasian uh, sort of rounds before we go back to Europe because I failed to do so for a long time and now car off again it's Nico Hulkenberg and a dreadful mistake means that Maldonado is now 10th Maldonado has a point position and I have to take it off him no mercy if at all possible now the uh, hairpin left is our final corner for the lap so in a very action packed two laps we've another 25 to go as we cross the line um, it's just 0.58 seconds the DRS has not activated because we're already past the activation point and uh, now it's all about a clean overtake Maldonado leaves the outside a little open I've sort of pushed them there and I'm going for the outside line Maldonado is very generous with his uh, driving there and I'm through into 10th so 7 positions gained in a matter of 3 laps that is uh, sensational driving from myself but Maldonado has decided I'm going back to my uh, my uh, comfort zone and I want my position back but look at Grosjean now going cleanly around the outside and Maldonado cannot answer him so unlucky pastor but can he get a uh, overtake back into the hairpin I'm not too sure Hulkenberg puts in the fastest lap after being uh, clouted off the road by his uh, s silliness I suppose and um, Grosjean is now 11 so um, big pressure man. you can see Perez is battling with what I believe is Daniel Ricciardo's Toro Rosso as you'll also recall Toro Rosso went pointless last season and got absolutely nothing uh, uh, so they came last but now Grosjean and I will begin a, a big duel and Grosjean's away he's got his car pointing in the right direction but I've got DRS again crossing the line a rather slow lap for me as you can see because my tires are wearing out but oh I've got the curves and through I go back into 10 so I've had my fair few duels with Grosjean in the past you'll remember Korea if you watch the episode we went and battled for a long time but I was ultimately beaten by the Lotus and he got the extra few points but uh, Maldonado is now down another spot but Perez is uh, way too far ahead to really do anything better Grosjean once more DRS and he's through and I go down the inside again you can see I, I can go in third gear because I'm using the pit lane and uh, behind me is Nico Hulkenberg so he's done a great job of uh, recovering his race and breaking for the uh, pit lane line for the limited for the limiter sorry and uh, Red Bull pitted a car you can see uh, that's a, a sour, I think someone else pitting uh, Force India coming out so everyone is busy and uh, it's more soft tires for me I'm going for another uh, short stint and um, I think that was McLaren actually pitting someone but there we go um, 14th position uh, with few cars yet to pit isn't too bad I'll take that so uh, I just need to keep up with Perez and um, Hulkenberg right behind. Um, there we go through the uh, rather dismal first few corners. But now Nico Hulkenberg is on the attack. He wants his points back. And he's going cleanly down the inside. Breaking as late as I can. And I'm giving him as much space. And he pulls out the move. But he'll get the arrest again. The sound were very quick in a straight line. You can see I don't have the arrest. My DRS has has... Uh, has been broken briefly Alonso now leads the Grand Prix there's Maldonado and there's Grosjean oh it's going to be nip and tuck he's on the racing line but on cold tyres he's not going to get the acceleration and I'm through thankfully Grosjean lets me go as uh, uh, as he really should have I had the position and now I'm back into the 10th position so uh, that's great and now let's have a look at the rest of the order Massa behind his teammate Rosberg, Vettel, Hamilton, Raikkonen, Weber, Ricardo, Perez and myself are in the top 10 Grosjean, Hulkenberg, Maldonado, Duresta, Sutil, Gutierrez Verne I think and then the other uh, Caterham and Rushes and Jensen Button down the back um, but on the attack I'm slow out of that uh, right hander again Hulkenberg this time tries the outside and it's a raving success he's away and I've lost 10th position what a disaster I can get on the DRS but I keep hitting the button and uh, yeah he's way too far ahead he's nearly going to second on me through his uh, superior line and he's really pulling out all the stops he's pulled out three seconds on me in just a matter of a few laps so it's all about defending my position from Grosjean and Maldonado and uh, if you look ahead now he's going to uh, clash swords with uh, Sergio Perez 
He goes down the inside and he's through. Nico Hulkenberg is now ninth. What a drive from the German. And Sergio Perez can only watch in disbelief as his McLaren is uh, easily beaten. And uh, Grosjean, at least I have a bit of time on him now. Um, and I have to pit again. Another slow entry and exit out of that turn. And here's Grosjean again. He's got the inside line this time. I have to yield. He's easily ahead. Breaks for the uh, final turn. And he decides to come into the pits as well. So it's a battle of the uh, pit crews now. I am very, very uh, dangerous to those... Uh, corners and then we break whoa that was close nearly going into the back of the lotus so my tires get a little grassy in comes the lotus and not too far behind here i go three seconds oh not to, not quite not quite grosjean has beaten me and i have to uh, find a way to get payback because those points are precious and we can't go without them there's someone off in the bottom of your map there you may want to rewind just confirm but it must be the back marker which is uh, dreadful, unfortunate. Vandergaard and Peak are battling for 17th, out in and out of the pits, I presume. So good luck to the caterums there. But now the chase is on. The Lotus is still in my range, which is absolutely vital. But I have a lot of work to do if I'm going to get that position back. But uh, let's focus now on the cars coming out of the pits. Grosjean will uh, lead me out. There's Maldonado. I believe Gutierrez is not far behind. So there we go. Um, breaking as light as I can. Oh, I'm looking on the outside, maybe. No, that's not going to work. I'm a little too uh, uh, strung out on the on the uh, hairpin there. And we try again, so I'm keeping up with Grosjean. And there's the uh, Force India ahead. Um, the battle could be getting uh, interfered with as Sutil is slow. He must be on all the tyres. Grosjean, oh, he's been balked. He has been balked. And I'm looking down the inside. Oh, Grosjean, contact, he's nearly spun, but I'm on the outside, I'm trying again, down the inside, oh, it's eight hundredths of a second and he's wide, he's just gone ever so slightly wide and Sutil has done me a massive favour, and I'm back into 13th position, how fortunate can you get, the Force Indias have been terrible this weekend, and that one has definitely given me a huge favour, uh, no DRS, but Sutil, I will get the arrest off this time. Maldonado is back in range, so if I can help him out anywhere I can, that'll be great. Uh, out of the pits comes another rival down the inside, ever so slightly, and Sutil yields. He knows he's in a spot of bother, and that's a big overtake, if you ask me, because I'm back into my original position, and uh, the slower car has uh, been uh, taken away. So Alonso still leads from Massa, Rosberg, Vettel, Hamilton, Weber, Reichen, and Hulkenberg, Ricardo. Perez, myself, and uh, button up to 17th now, so he's on his way. But Sutil down 16th after uh, a long stint. Um, you can see now this is an example of me taking this turn. I'm not the greatest that you can see. I could probably go a little wider uh, to accelerate. And you can see Grosjean will take full advantage again. Another tiresome uh, battle takes place. And I've got to do something about it. He's through. I'm squeezing him as close as I can to the inside line, and I'm through again. So, trading places, I've never seen the like. We're just stuck to each other's gearboxes and we're not going to give it up until the race is over. And, oh, a bit of sound problems there, excuse me, but I think we're okay. Grosjean again coming on along the outside and he's through again. Literally, it's nip and tuck. I, I don't know what else to say. Every highlight has been in this sector, I say for about one or two, and I'm through again, so. Uh, it's just for the context of the race, really. You can see Daniel Ricciardo has now been overtaken by Perez. Grosjean wants me again. And he's going to try the inside line. And he's got it. But for how long now? Not long enough. He is again. A little unfortunate. As I pick up a marble or two. And not the good kind. And uh, now I make my final pit stop on this lap. Grosjean is definitely quicker. And he is frustrated. And I can understand that. I've got to do my job and keep in contention. Um, there you go. I'm a little bit away. And we make the pit stop safely in just 3.2 seconds. Grosjean just behind me now. Um, you can see all sorts of support in this grandstand there. And there are a few cheers. Um, they probably sense that Alonso is uh, on his way. And they're going to cheer him. And away we go for lap 21 now. Um, and Ricardo is the car. I'll need to catch up. 
uh, with, and they use definitely getting slower. It's down to 4.8 seconds. Could I actually make a implausible uh, point out of this race? And um, other cars start to pit now. Here is Grosjean again. And um, for the, I wouldn't have used this highlight to be honest if the other cars weren't pitting. So just it's those kind of that kind of thing to be honest. But let's carry on with the entertainment. And uh, we accelerate now down the pit road. Maldonado ahead now of Gutierrez. Oh, he's actually behind. Gutierrez has beaten him out of the pits. And I'm up into 12th. Here comes Grosjean again. It's about the 10th time now in 22 laps or something stupid. As other cars decide to pit. There's a Marussia that needs to be dismissed. Um, you may notice Grosjean's helmet. Not, uh, if we want to go a bit of a tangent. Uh, he's one of the few cars that have had a modded helmet. That is uh, present and correct for the 2013 season and uh, now I'm going to use DRS and cars and again I'm down the inside and again I'm through yeah uh, the blue flags are, are waving and Ricardo's been ba badly held up the Toro Rosso is is definitely in a reasonable reaching distance this uh, this uh, Marussia gets out of the way and Grosjean has uh, suffered quite a bit and there we go I'm actually purple in this sector Vandergaar has to get out of my way as well and he does so the gap is very tight to um, Ricardo now. Toro Rosso need that point, but again, I do as well. So we've got quite a blood feud spurring. Uh, the order hasn't changed too much, but Maldonado will not be uh, contending for points. Here comes Grosjean again. Absolutely ridiculous how often this has happened. But we try and try again. The Toro Rosso is way, way closer now. But if we continue feuding, we're not going to get points either way. And again, Grosjean is through, but I will get a run on him. My aerodynamic setup will be uh, sufficient. And look at that, the caterer is in the way. I can't go down the inside until the very last moment. But I break a little early. And again, the AI have to switch to the outside line as I take the inside. Now, Ricardo is extremely close. That Toro Rosso is going to be sweating. And it's not going to be a pleasant afternoon for Ricardo if he loses this championship point. We're battling now in the sector two. The... Uh, the left right complex now the double apex right you can see there I've got a good run Grosjean now out of distance and the Tarasso oh he's getting slower now right behind now we go oh switch I'm going outside Ricardo gets a run he will block and he will block again so that's good driving from uh, Ricardo but we're gonna try again um, once more I switch I don't know which way I'm gonna go but now I just need to relax Grosjean is caught up again we're gonna get double DRS and Ricardo I'll be leading Grosjean into the aerodynamic drag and uh, you can see good get away from Ricardo Grosjean wants the inside but Ricardo wants the inside as well so that puts off Grosjean and I block him just the last second there commitment and obviously the AI has been put off and now sure this is my moment if I take Ricardo now, the point is mine. He's going to lose it. He's way too slow. And away I go. It's 10th position. Absolutely remarkable. Second half of the race for me. Just as the first half was also quite impressive. So unlucky. Danny Ricardo. Oh, he won't be smiling today, that's for sure. But it's uh, now my chance to get away. Is that Tarasso was way too slow. And I've done it. Just got to survive the hairpin, and I have. There you go. Grosjean is way too far behind to do anything about it. At last, I can take a breath and salute for one championship point here at uh, Kuala Lumpur. And uh, that was one of the hardest races you can possibly imagine. The fact that I just had to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Grosjean again and again was quite uh, wearisome. But I've done it. I have a championship point. I was a minute and eight seconds behind our eventual winner, Alonso. But Vettel and Massa complete the podium. Hamilton and Rosberg would be devastated not to perform for their sponsors. Mark Webber, sixth. Raikkonen, seventh. Perez, eighth. And Hulkenberg was ninth. Uh, Grosjean, Gutierrez have beaten Ricardo. So you can see the Tyros must have had problems. Dresta, Maldonado, 14th, 15th. Sutil, 16th. Button failed to recover sufficiently. He was 17th. Vern, 18th. Bianchi, Vandergaard, Peak, and Chilton complete the Grand Prix as everyone finished the race. But now the world champion is five points clear of the uh, Mercedes cars and uh, Vettel as well. But you can see I'm up into 11th uh, ahead of Jensen Button on a countback for some apparent reason. But I'll take that any day of the week. 
and Williams are now 7th in the constructors ahead of Sahara Force India and just 3 behind Sauber and McLaren are not too far ahead either so if we keep up the good work before we go back to Europe I fancy a great season but a much better drive than in Australia I'm so proud that we got something out of the race and uh, the team are as well you can see the uh, lovely mods one last time and uh, well done team I uh, go take that any day of the week but there we go a uh, weird little mirror glitch on the bottom of your screen there as uh, I I kind of wanted to sort that out but it didn't really matter so we move on now to the Chinese Grand Prix at Shanghai and um, that world championship point means that the teammate challenge is now a tie but I still have yet to out qualify Maldonado but can I do it in the Chinese Grand Prix you'll have to wait and see as I'll speak to you again soon. Goodbye for now.